folks, I'm Tom Bassel, and today we're taking a look at games that I reviewed a year and 10 years ago. This is Look Back, and um, this is where I take a look at the reviews that I've done a year, five years, and 10 years ago, although five years ago, I was apparently doing my top 100 games of all time, so I wasn't doing many reviews. But a year ago, I definitely was reviewing some games, so let's get started. First of all, I took a look at Cubosity, which is kind of a roll a die, and then you get a letter and you have to name something with that, that, that die starts with. Fun little party game, nothing spectacular, but some people will like it. Game of Thrones Iron Throne. This one I expected to really enjoy, but at the same time I was worried. This was a game based on Cosmic Encounter. And I like Cosmic Encounter a lot, but this game just wasn't as good. It's a little too on the nose. That it, they, they took the basic system, and it, you can see that it's there, and you know it's Cosmic Encounter, but I don't know. Then we have Mi Tierra. Melody and I took a look at this one. This was the new version of it. It's a worker placement game, very similar to Agricola. There's a lot of things I like about it. I think it's fantastic artwork. I like the idea. The farming theme works well, but it just there's there's a, there's enough flaws in it that keep it from being a great game. It's just a good one, but it's a little sometimes there's a little bit more randomness than I would like. Then we have Macroscope. This game, originally I got the Russian version of it. Uh, Mayday Games has it now, where you're slowly pulling off pins and seeing the picture. I like that idea. Trying to guess the picture at a certain point, it works well. Then we have Blood of an Englishman. Melody and I both took a look at this great named game uh, about Jack and a Beanstalk. It is a two-player asymmetrical game. Each player is very different. One person's Jack, the other person's a giant. The theme doesn't really matter, you're just moving around cards, but it's very unique and intriguing. Uh, around the World in 80 Days. This is a revamped, revised version of Heron Tortoise, which is a game I like a lot, a slow racing game. This one does a good job as you're all racing around the world, but you have to go back to get more funds and then you go forward. So you go back a little bit to go forward farther. Very mathematical, but enjoyable. Conan. Now this one you'll see has been knocked down a bit. I really enjoyed the game. I like it a lot. I then immediately afterwards played Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I thought was much better. Conan has some flaws. The rules are kind of a mess. The game is too loosey-goosey. You know, do what you want. And Conan is really powerful compared to the other people. But it's still a good game. I still enjoy it. The Batman one will probably kill it for me because I really like the Batman theme when that comes out. And it's the same thing. Uh, then we have Aeon's... Uh, no, Cash and Guns. Team Spirit. This is uh, an expansion for Cash and Guns, which lets you work in teams. Love that. Great addition to the genre. And then Aeon's End. Aeon's End is a cooperative deck building game uh, from Indie Boards and Cards, which is really good. I'm looking forward to getting the new version of this. My biggest knock against this game was the art and graphic design, but they have improved that. So my rating tentatively might go up. If, I mean, I th the game is basically the same, but the new stuff looks really good. And finally, Spyfall 2. Great party game. It's essentially the same thing as Spyfall with different locations. So there you go. Ten years ago, I took a look at Penguin. Gave this an, a, just an awful review because it is, the game itself is okay. They remade it later on as a card game, and it was okay. But the Penguins didn't stack very well. It was kind of a dexterity game, but really wasn't a dexterity game. It was just a mess. This was a huge miss from Fantasy Flight Games. Love Pigs was a game that I I found okay, but in modern times, I don't think I would enjoy this as much. It's a, very loose. You're writing stuff down, trying to guess different, you know, uh, you're, you're saying, you're trying to guess a specific card, but asking open-ended questions about that card. It can be manipulated. A, a bunch of little flaws, I think, which 10 years ago I didn't have a problem with. Today, I, I, I do. And then Aunt Millie's Millions, this is a fine little game uh, about choosing different things. Uh, Aunt Millie died, and you're all there trying to get stuff, simultaneous selection style. It works well. Great artwork. Just, you know, I don't play it at all these days, so I dropped the rating a little bit. Those are the reviews I did a year and ten years ago. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching uh, Look Back on the Dice Tower. 